In question 5, we have to find the value of each of the given expressions using suitable properties of integers. Okay, so let's start with part A. In part A, we have this uh, expression. Let's write it. So we have the expression 26 into minus 48 plus minus 48 into minus 36. So we have to calculate the value of this expression. Now, if you observe this expression, the it has uh, two terms which are being summed 26 into minus 48 and minus 48 into minus 36. And in these two terms, we see that this number is common minus 48 and minus 48. Uh, this number is common. So we can take it out and we can write this expression as minus 48 into uh, this term 26 and this term minus 36. So we get minus 48 into inside the bracket we have 26 plus minus 36 like this. So what property have we used uh, to write this in original expression like this? Well, we have used the distributivity of multiplication over um, addition and subtraction. So in this case, distributivity of multiplication over addition. So this is the property that we have used here. And now this is easy to calculate. We get minus 48 into 26 plus minus 36. This sum is equal to minus 10. So we get minus 48 into minus 10, right? And minus 48 into minus 10 will be how much? This will be equal to 480. It will be positive because both the integers are negative. So in part A, the value of the expression is 480. Okay, now let's go to the second part. So in the second part, part B, we have the product 8 into 53 into minus 125. So we observe that multiplying 8 with minus 125, calculating this product first will be easier. So we rewrite this product as 8 into minus 125 into 53 okay and what property allows us to do this well we are using the property that multiplication of integers is associative so we are using the property of associativity of multiplication and this property basically says that you can multiply integers in any order and now this product is easy to calculate 8 into minus 125 we calculate this product first how much will this be so this will be equal to magnitude will be equal to 1000 and this will be negative because one integer is negative so we get minus 1000 into 53 and minus 1000 into 53 will be simply equal to minus 53000 okay so in part b the value of the product is minus 53000 now let's come to part C. In part C, we have to calculate the product 15 into minus 25 into minus 4 into minus 10. So this is the product that we have to calculate. And instead of calculating the product from left to right, we observe that we can first um, multiply these two integers, minus 25 and minus 4 since their product is very simple, it is equal to 100. And what allows us to first calculate this product? Well, the associativity of multiplication again. So we can calculate this product as follows. So 15 into minus 25 into minus 4 into minus 10. And what we are going to do is first calculate this product. And the property that allows us to do this is again the property from the previous part associativity of multiplication which tells us that we can multiply in any order so this will be equal to 15 into minus 25 into minus 4 will be how much so this will simply be equal to 100 uh, because magnitude is 100 and sign is positive and we have into minus 10 and now what we will do is we will calculate this product first again uh, the associativity of multiplication allows us to do this so we can write this as 15 into 100 into minus 10 will be minus 
थाउजेंड एंड फाइनली फिफ्टीन इंटू माइनस थाउजेंड विल बी माइनस फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड सो इन पार्ट सी द आंसर इज माइनस फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड और राइट नाउ वी गो टू पार्ट डी इन विच वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट माइनस फोर्टी वन इंटू हंड्रेड एंड टू सो वॉट वी विल डू इज वी विल राइट द सेकेंड मल्टीप्लायर हंड्रेड एंड टू एज हंड्रेड प्लस टू लाइक दिस एंड नाउ वी विल डिस्ट्रीब्यूट द फर्स्ट मल्टीप्लायर माइनस फोर्टी वन टू बोथ द टर्म्स इन द सम सो वी कैन राइट दिस एज माइनस फोर्टी वन इंटू हंड्रेड प्लस माइनस फोर्टी वन इंटू टू सो वॉट वी कैन डू इज वी कैन कैलकुलेट दिस सम दिस प्रोडक्ट एंड दिस प्रोडक्ट एंड देन एड to find the original product and what property allows us to do this well we are making use of the fact uh, of the distributivity of multiplication so this is the property that is being used here okay so now let's calculate this minus 41 into 100 will be minus 4100 and minus 41 into 2 will be minus 82 so we get minus 4100 plus minus 82 and this will be equal to minus 4182 so the answer in part d is minus 4182 okay now we go to the next part part e in which we have to calculate 625 into minus 35 plus minus 625 into 65 okay so let's first simplify this expression a little bit so we have 625 into minus 35 and now the second term that we have plus minus 625 into 65 we can write this by observing that this product will be negative we can write this as minus of 625 into 65 like this and now we observe that um we have this term 625 and this term 625 here which are uh, which is common so we can take 625 out so we can write this as 625 into inside the bracket we will have minus 35 minus 65 like this so we have inside the bracket we have this as the first term minus this as the second term and what property allows us to do this well we are in this case we are making use of the distributivity of multiplication over subtraction because we have this subtraction sign here so we are making use of distributivity of multiplication over subtraction okay now let's calculate this uh, product so we have 625 into minus 35 minus 65 will be minus 100 you can verify this it will be minus 100 and now 625 into minus 100 is super easy to calculate this is simply equal to minus 62500 so in part e the answer is minus 62500 all right now let's go to the next part part f in part f we have to calculate 7 into 50 minus so we can write this we can distribute 7 over both the terms over 50 and 2 so we can write this as 7 into 50 minus 7 into 2 like this so what property are we using here so again we are making use of the fact uh, that multiplication is distributive over subtraction so this is the property that we are using here so this will be equal to 7 into 50 is 350 minus 7 into 2 is 14 so we get 350 minus 14 which is equal to 336 so in part f the answer is 336 then in part g we have to calculate minus 17 into minus 29 so the second multiplier minus 29 is near very near to a multiple of 10 it is very near to minus 30 so what we can do is we can write this product as minus 17 into 
instead of minus 29 let's write this as minus 30 plus 1 like this and now let's distribute the multiplication so we will get minus 17 into minus 30 plus minus 17 into the second term 1 and here we are making use of the fact that multiplication is distributive over addition so this is the property we are using so now let's calculate this minus 17 into minus 30 will be 510 positive because both integers are negative and then minus 17 into 1 will be minus 17 so we have 510 plus minus 17 which is basically 510 minus 17 which is equal to 493 so in part g the answer is 493 and finally we come to uh, part h in part h we have to calculate minus 57 into minus 19 plus 57 so let's simplify this expression first so we note that minus 57 into minus 19 will be positive because both integers are negative so we can actually write this first uh, this part as 57 into 19 simply as 57 into 19 and then we have the second term which is plus 57 and plus 57 we can think of this as 57 into 1 like this and now we see that we have 57 and 57 common so we take out the 57 so we can write this as 57 into 19 plus 1 19 is the first term 1 is the second term here and what allows us to do this so again we are using the distributivity of multiplication over addition so this is the property that we are using here so this is equal to 57 into 19 plus 1 is 20 so 57 into 20 which is easy to, easy to calculate this will be 1140 so in part h the answer is 1140 so that completes part h so let's uh, just quickly highlight the answers that we obtain 480 in part a minus 53000 in part b minus 15000 in part c minus 4182 minus 4182 in part d minus 62500 in part e 336 in part f 493 in g and 1140 in part h so this completes question number five to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers